Hello my crafty friends. Today I just have a real quick video to show you a card I made for a friend. I have this pattern paper out. Let me grab the packaging. I hadn't really intended on doing a video so I didn't bring stuff over but I just finished my sheet load of cards video and uh, this is the pattern paper that I used for the sheet load of cards as well. So it is retired. I've had it in my stash for a long time. It's from Linda Canassi. Um, it was a six by 12 pattern paper. And I just, I love the colors and the leaves and I just, I love it. So I have hoarded it for a number of years and I've been sort of working at using it up. So I used a bunch of them on the sheet load. And then while I had it out, I saw those leaves and they just reminded me of a friend. So I just wanted to make her something for Happy Mail. Everything that is available is linked on my blog, which is in that description box below. And then um, I also try to list the retired items. So even though they might not be available, I know some viewers will try to find things on eBay. So I do have the credits on my blog. So this is a, called a Z-fold card. This uses a die set by Divinity Designs and it actually cuts and scores the card base and then comes with all the layering pieces. So it makes it really quick and easy to complete a card like this. I love it when a die set comes with the layering dies. This is not new. I have had this for a number of years and I always enjoy getting it out to play with. The butterflies are Pink Fresh Studio. I used Pink Fresh Studio's nested hexagons and the sentiments are all by Stampin' Up. I'm not even sure if they're still available, but as I said, they will be linked on my blog. The, the die cut leaves are actually from Karen Berniston. They are from her landscape scene. There's a lot of different sentiments on it, so I would just sign my name. Now in hindsight, because I don't plan these out, I create as I go. I had added all my pattern paper panels. I decided I wanted the hexagons. I added those. I pulled out the stamp sets and the dies that I wanted to use. I stamped the thinking of you, got that all assembled, knew that I was going to do the block on the back for signing, so I added that and then went, ah, oh, I really want something else in the center here and the hello friend is what I came up with. But if I was to make this card again, I would put the hello friend on the front and the thinking of you inside and I would still keep that the same. So that's what happens when you don't plan ahead, but I'm still happy enough with the card. These butterflies, I love butterflies and as I said they're pink for a studio so it's their layering stencils and then the coordinating die so I think it does nine butterflies at a time you lay one stencil down you stencil the the one color you put down the next stencil and do the next color and then the single die you line it up and run it through and so one pass through your machine and you get nine colored butterflies I added the antenna with just a black marker there is a stamp um, that coordinates as well so you can over stamp the stencils I mean everything just lines up and works together and I do have the stamp. I just like the kind of soft stenciled look rather than the precise lines you get when you over stamp it. So that is my card today. I'm looking forward to popping it in. I know it will be a surprise for my friend and I think she'll really enjoy it. I'd love you to hit that like button if you enjoyed my video, subscribe to see more, and that's it for me today.